What's up guys, it's that time again. Time for another scroller box opening. Let's go. So I kind of was spoiled by Instagram and YouTube for this scroller box, so I kind of know what's inside it. Um, but it's not gonna stop my excitement. Oh wow, nice. Special colour selection, especially for scroller box. Derwent. Ooh. And what's this? Oh, that's the ah, oh, that's lovely. Really nice art print this week. Very colourful. Uh, Alice Coles, aka Hello Alice. Uh, if I can get her social media. Okay, can you see that? Yep. Cool. Yeah, that's really nice. I love the colours of it. And this looks like. Oh wow, that is a lot of paper. Look at that, wow. I'm not sure what kind of paper it is. Watercolour paper, maybe? It's quite thick. Okay, so we've got the paper, a little packet, this and this. I'm not gonna look in the book yet because I don't want to spoil things even more. <laughs> so let's open these first. And what I saw online was Possibly that they were the Derwin ink tents. I think. I think. <laughs> okay, let's open this up. And we have. Yep, yeah, this is what I saw on Instagram. <laughs> no, it looks like the Derwin ink tents. And I'm not sure actually what they are, but I've seen them so many times in Hobbycraft and really, really wanted to try them. So I'm super excited about this. I finally get to try them. <laughs> Love the colors as well. Very nice. So in here, let's see what we've got. A little menu, which I shall just put there for a second. Lovely scroller box sticker. Oh, oh no. <laughs> My sweetie has leaked <laughs> onto the sticker. It looks like a drumsticks chewy thing. Ew. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> but the sticker is pretty. I mean, that's only the that's only the backing of the sticker, so it should be fine. Okay, so it's a sticker. Yes! <laughs> Jelly roll white pen. I use these pens all the time, and mine is about there at the moment, so I desperately needed a new one. I'm super happy about that. And what else have we got? We've got a Caran d'Ache Swiss made, looks like a water soluble pencil. And oh wait, let's just focus on that. There we go. Prismalo. And it's it looks like a black, but it has a white end, so <laughs> I think it's black. And finally we have a sea white number six brush. Always happy to get a new paintbrush. So yeah, cool. Pretty happy with that all together. So we've got all of these things. Yeah, cool. And let's look at the menu. So the menu says June, halfway through what's turned out to be a very strange year. Yes, that's that's true. It definitely has been a weird year so far. So Derwent in Tank Derwent Ink Tents Blocks. A highly versatile water soluble pigments which create a vivid ink like medium when combined with a little water. Yes, I'm excited to try these so much. Satisfyingly chunky blocks. Cool. The Caran d'Ache Prismalo pencil is a staple for illustrators and artists like highly drawable that fine leads. Uh, adding water allows you to really transform your work. So, is it a. Oh, so it's a water soluble pencil basically. So it's not black, I guess. It's, it's just a lead, a lead pencil. That's still cool. Uh, see white synthetic round brush for acrylics, watercolor, and ink medium supplies. Jelly roll eight white and the C white 350 GSM. Ah, it is watercolor paper. I was right. Twelve sheets of premium quality fine art paper. That is really good. Thank you, Scrawler Box, for that. And. The scroll challenge for this week is something that I'm excited about. It is Spirit Animal. So I will definitely be 
doing that challenge because I can think of a few things that I can draw for that. Let's just have a quick look in the scroll zine. It's, I've been calling it scroll design and I've watched other people's videos and they've call, called it the scroll zine, which does actually make sense because it's a magazine, not a magazine. So yeah, I've been saying it completely wrong. So let's just have a quick flick through here, see what else it says. Uh, yeah, just a little bit about the products as usual. And this is about the artist. That's pretty cool. I love these interviews and stuff. Oh, and she has a YouTube channel. I'll probably check that out. Uh, yeah, her art's really good. I love the vibrancy of it all. Some tips about the ink tents, which is really useful. I'll be reading that before I start. Scrawler Gallery is for the April Scrawler Box. So they are a little bit behind with that. Some very cool artwork there. So I'm a little bit nervous about uh, starting to use these ink tensors because obviously I've never used them before. So I'm not quite sure how to start. I have my little palette here. I'm not sure if that's going to be of any use, but let's see. Uh, okay, so I've got my brush and we'll do some swatching. Um, so I'm going to put them down onto the paper first, I think, and see how that works. And then I'm going to try another way. They feel like uh, chalk or like pastels or something like that. It's strange. But they are something that I've always wanted to try. I think the ones that I saw in Hobbycraft were more of the, the pencil type of these rather than the, the chalk looking blocks. It reminds me a little bit of the uh, the water-based brush pens that we got recently. I think the April Scrawler box reminds me kind of that. So that's kind of like a weird orange. I see what it means in the booklet where it says if you put it down, it might leave a little bit behind. So I think probably the best way to use these is actually straight from the block. That green's nice. A nice colour and the blue. That's a nice blue too. The blue really stains the brush <laughs> and the green. Lovely purple too. I think I need a bit more water there. So it says when these dry they're permanent so I guess they're not like watercolours that you can move around after you put them down on the paper. Lovely fuchsia or magenta pink. Yeah, nice colours. They are not that vibrant doing it this way, so I'm going to try doing it straight from the block and see how that turns out. Oh yes, that is much, much more vibrant using it straight from the block, so I think I will definitely be doing it that way. That's lovely, lovely, lovely colour. And this is the brownie colour, brownie orange. Now that looks kind of the same as the actual, uh, the one that we put down on the paper. It's not that much difference between that one and that one. Yep, that's nice. Nice vibrant green. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> that is really nice. Really nice blue, gorgeous. Really dark purple now, it's uh, actually from the stick. That's awesome. I'm loving these colours, they are just beautiful. Much more vibrant. I'm so happy with these. And we'll just try the, the graphite water soluble pencil. Just a little scribble there, feels nice. Just a, you know, generic drawing pencil, but with water solubleness. Oh yeah, so we get a bit of a, a black to go with the rest of the colours. That's pretty cool. What happens if I draw it? Oh, it does draw over the top. That's, that's pretty cool. And it doesn't go away when you wash over it after you've drawn on top of it. That's clever. And then obviously my little jelly roll, which I love so much. A new jelly roll feeling is going to be so good. Are these dry? Yes. Yep. 
the new jelly roll feels good. That one dry, that one's not quite dry. I won't put it on top of that one. But yes, new jelly roll, woohoo. <laughs> so that's the swatches done. I'm going to try and think of something for the challenge, which I think I already have something in mind, and I'll get back to you guys in a second. I've been thinking what I could draw for the spirit animal challenge, and some things that I've come up with are obviously, you know I draw anthro characters um, as my original characters, and my, my main character, so to speak, who represents me is a wolf. So I was thinking maybe I could draw them, um, but then I was like, mm, maybe that's just too easy for me. Maybe, you know, that's it's a bit boring. I draw anthros occasionally on my channel already. I don't know whether you guys would be interested in seeing that. So I thought mm, maybe I could draw like a, maybe a realistic wolf. That would be pretty cool. Um, so I think I'm gonna do a realistic wolf, um, but I'm gonna make it all of the colors of the rainbow. Well the colours that they have given us, uh, as it's Pride Month. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, a colourful rainbow wolf. <laughs> so I don't know how I'm going to start. I think I'll probably do a little sketch first just to um, to see what the colours are going to be like. So a little kind of swatch of how I want to colour the wolf in. So i uh, just draw a mini, a mini wolf, just a quick mini wolf sketch. I'm using a reference on my computer just of a just of a wolf head looking straight on. And, and I'll draw the eyes. I don't think I've actually ever drawn a real wolf before. Not the best wolf I've ever seen, but he'll do for the uh, the test. Also, I probably won't actually draw it in this pencil when I do the real thing because obviously this is a water soluble pencil. It's gonna make look quite a quite a few muddy marks, I think, if I uh use it for the actual drawing. So I'm going to put my ink tenses on the palette. So if I get any drips they'll just go into the palette. I think I'll start with the pink. This is quite a learning curve for me with these ink tenses. But I am excited to see how this turns out. <laughs> Even though it might not be that great. <laughs> But we tried, so that's what matters. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, the, the graphite is uh, blending into the pink, so we definitely won't be using that for the lines. <laughs> so I've got pink there, and then we need orange, orange, yellow. I think I need to figure out a better way to do these colors how that fits in with the the markings and how they actually look on a real wolf yeah not not so enamored with this at the moment okay so that was my test wolf i don't think i'm gonna do it this way in the final thing i don't like the middle pink bit and just the yellow and the orange go together. Uh, I don't really like it that much. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna scribble out another wolf quickly. <laughs> okay, just a quick wolfer. And I think I wanna do like, maybe the, the actual light bits of it in the lighter colors. So there's like, light bits here, light bits along its face here, and just above its eyes, there, and there's light on its muzzle, which I've done already, that bit there, and here. I'm already liking this much more than the other one. <laughs> orange just here and then I think just add the other colors just so it looks a little bit more interesting to look at a bit a bit nicer to the eye maybe I mean it's not terrible but yeah, I feel like it could be better 
yeah, just like this idea a lot better. So I think I'm gonna go with this. So I'm gonna grab a new piece of paper and start drawing my wolf in this kind of style. Yeah. Okay, let's start drawing this wolf. So I'm gonna draw it with my uh, trusty Derwent 4H pencil because obviously the, uh, the graphite water soluble pencil will bleed and we don't want that. So I hope this isn't cheating too much <laughs> to use my own pencil, but I just uh, thought it would be easier to do it this way. And I've got my trusty kneaded eraser that I got in another scroller box too. I actually use pretty much everything that I get from old scroller boxes over and over again which is something that I really, really love about Scrawler Box. They give such good materials. There's nothing that I've had so far that I have not used for other things. Even this uh, Faber-Castell eraser pencil that we got uh, last month, I still use this pretty much all the time for my sketch card drawings. It's so useful for small details, so I, I was super happy with that. Yep, yeah, literally, Scrawler box, I get so excited for it every month. It's just amazing. I'm so happy that I discovered it via YouTube. So thank you for that. People love the art YouTube world. <laughs> I can't wait to uh, watch everyone else's videos of this now I've actually opened my scrawler box because I saw obviously other people were posting about it and then I was like, oh no, I can't watch them because spoilers. So now I get to watch everybody else's videos and see what they did with these supplies. It's probably uh, one of my favourite parts of the scroll box as well, like just watching what everyone else creates with them. It's so much fun and everyone's so creative and talented. So my spirit, spirit animal, as they say, is a wolf. I'm not really sure why. I think. So maybe it's something to do with Gemini, because Gemini is uh, it doesn't Gemini doesn't really have an animal sign. I don't think they obviously they just have the twins. Um, but I did look it up a while back, and it said that wolves were for Gemini. So maybe it's something to do with that, like subconsciously. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, um, I just love wolves. I think they're beautiful and powerful. I mean, not that I identify with that, but. <laughs> But um, I just, I, I just don't know. I love them. And my Anthro character has always been a wolf ever since the beginning. So yeah, I think it's just something that I was gravitating towards for some reason. And it just stuck. So you guys, what are your spirit animals? Uh, let me know in the comments below and explain why you think that animal is your spirit animal. I mean, they say spirit animal. I don't really agree gen generally with that term for that we should be using it because obviously it was uh, coined by indigenous people. So yeah, spirit animal is kind of something quite important to them. Um, but it is a nice concept. I really like it. Okay, so there's my sketch of my wolf. I think actually the eyes are a little bit too big but I'm not going to change it. It's uh, just for fun so I'm just going to rub out these harder lines a little so that I can paint over them but so they won't be seen underneath but I can still see them if that makes sense. That's what the kneaded eraser is perfect for. Absolutely love it. Okay, so this is my barely, barely there sketch. And now I'm gonna start painting with the ink tints. See what happens. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it in the style of uh, what I tried to do earlier. And fingers crossed that it works out okay.
and there we go there's my finished rainbow wolf <laughs> i'm actually really 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 pleased with this <laughs> i think yeah i really love it it's so colorful i think the only thing that's a bit strange is maybe this side of the face um i could probably thin it down a little bit on this side just to even it up let me just do that now the ink tents are such a dream to work with seriously i i'm blown away by them they're just amazing i i never expected them to be this good i <laughs> i thought they might be good but i never expected them to be this good so i am so so happy that we got these in the scrawler box this month um yeah they're just i love how they go down when you use them just as they are with the paintbrush and I, I'm just so, <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> um, yeah, they are amazing. The colour is just gorgeous and I love the fact that when they dry, they don't move after you put water on them again. I, I just love that because it, it really helps with like layering up the colours um, and I'm pretty happy with this. I hope you guys like it too. That's my rainbow wolf, which represents myself. I hope everyone is having a great Pride Month. If you enjoyed the video, let me know down below and give it a like, that would be amazing. Um, thanks for everybody who's commented and subscribed so far. Um, it's great having you here. And I can't wait to show you guys what I'll be doing next whatever that may be. <laughs> I'm not quite sure yet. I hope that you'll enjoy it anyway. <laughs> if you'd like to subscribe to Scrawler Box, I've left a link in the description below. Um, I think you can order past boxes if you like and just check out their website and see what the, uh, the other boxes have in them. And I think you'll be able to get this one if it's still in stock as well. I highly recommend it because the ink tents are so good. <laughs> okay, that's it for this week. And thanks guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!